Is it truly Gojover or might there be some Gojopium? Because Gege's recent comment on the hidden details of this image are very fascinating. So as you can see here, Gege said it's Chronicle with a bunch of different meanings behind it. How are we doing tonight? So what is Chronicle? Well, it's the title of an album from a Japanese rock band known as Fuji Fabric. And as you can see here, this is the album art, which is clearly the direct inspiration for how Gege drew the cast. But it goes beyond mere inspiration because he also mentioned that there's a bunch of different meanings behind it. So what might some of those meanings be? Well, first and foremost, like Maya pointed out, there is a parallel between Gojo and Shimura, the lead vocalist of the band, because Shimura tragically passed away on December 24th, Christmas Eve, the very same day that Gojo passed away in his fight against Sukuna, which also happens to be the same day Geto passed away. But Gege mentioned there were a bunch of different meanings, so what else might we be able to glean from this comparison? And the first thing I noticed is that all of the dogs down here are roughly the same type of dog, if not exactly the same breed, all very similar, right? Additionally, they're all mostly looking straight ahead, with the exception of this one a little bit. Now up here, we have four very clearly distinct dog breeds, and they are not all looking the same direction. Roughly these three are all looking forward, except Megami's is looking starkly this direction, and Gojo's, interestingly, has his eyes looking north, which maybe we could read into that, maybe not. And actually, let's just start there with Gojo, because obviously the parallel between Shimura's tragic passing does not look good for the whole Gojo comeback theory, but... We've got the weird eye thing, which is maybe just random, but again, Gege himself said there were many different meanings here. But even more importantly, I would say, is the fact that we continue with this eye symbolism with Gojo. As I'm sure you know, Gege has drawn him with one eye covered or one eye closed like a hundred million times at this point, which has led to a lot of the theories surrounding him sacrificing a six eye in order to return. Is there something there? Maybe, maybe not. Additionally, it's you know interesting that these three are looking forward, with this one being the only one that's not looking that way, which could point towards the only one will die, and perhaps it's Megami, as he is the odd one out in this scenario. He is also notably the only one that's not smiling here. Now let's talk about these dog breeds, because if anything in this image, I feel like these are the most ripe for symbolism and intentionality from Gege. But this is purely my own interpretation here, so I'll take it with a grain of salt. And let's start with Gojo again, who's got the Bloodhound, a dog that was literally bred and trained to hunt. Gojo similarly the strongest, the six eyes limitless user that has been treated as a weapon his entire life. It feels like it fits perfectly. Next up, we've got the Pug, who have notoriously bad health issues, right? Due to how they were basically interbred by humans to like get this cutesy little breed. They have so many different health issues and often lead tragically short lives. This feels ominously fitting for Yuji, who was similarly experimented on and bred for a specific purpose by Kenjaku. So also, I feel like the shoe fits there. Next up, we've got Megami with the Shiba Inu, who is the most popular dog in Japan. I mean, it's Doge, for crying out loud. And I feel like this is just perfect for the kid of the, you know, basically the crown heir of the Zenin clan, one of the three big clans. And not only that, he has the prestigious Ten Shadows technique, right? He is essentially royalty in Jujutsu society, as the dog is also kind of the royalty of dogs of Japan. And then finally, we have Nobro with either the Golden Retriever or perhaps a Golden Lab here, which is basically just like a designer dog, right? Like the beautiful classic dog, which I feel like goes perfectly with her whole mindset of being kind of like a girl's girl and wanting to be seen, you know, like wanting to be approached by that person to be a model. So I just feel like all of these breeds do fit really well with these characters. And then there were two other details that stood out to me, but I don't really know what to make of them too much. The first being the hands. Gojo has none to hold the dog on his head, which could just be representative of like his skill with Limitless. But then Yuji and Megami both using one and Nobra having to use two. And then additionally, the fact that Gojo and Yuji's dogs are like this way on their heads and Megami and Nobra's are this way. Um, which could, you know, cause a delineation between the top and that the bottom, right? Like maybe these two pass away and these two live, which I don't have an issue with that, but that would go against Gege's whole only one dies or only one lives thing. But he may have just moved away from that. We don't know that that's like hard canon for what's going to happen. But anyways, I thought this was all fascinating. So I wanted to share it with you guys and also get y'all's thoughts 
on your interpretations of this image. So let me know down below.